Okay, so last year I made my son an Easter game out of Unity that was an Easter egg hunt. I think it was too easy, so this year I'm going to make it so he has to catch rabbits. Alright, so I'm going to try and do this in one sitting. We'll see how it goes. I have tutorials on getting the Playmaker ecosystem. If you don't have that, pretty easy to get. I think I have a tutorial in my series down below. You want to make sure you have the nav mesh component installed. So go to Playmaker add-ons ecosystem and we're going to search for pathfinding and this is what you need just go and download that okay so here like here i have a low poly city i just downloaded and then see all these white cubes i made a whole bunch of those just regular cubes and i put those in a folder called destinations once we have a ton of rabbits, they're going to randomly choose one of these cubes and navigate through the city. If you haven't baked your, your mesh, um, this is how I did it pretty quickly. There's so many objects. If you click one of these, you take one of the root names, like the word road, and then you can go and select them all. Click the first one, then click the last one. And if you go to, um, if that navigation tab is not there, you go to window, AI, navigation, click that, and the tab will pop up. So if you go to navigation with all these roads selected, you do navigation static and it's walkable and then go over here to bake and you click the bake button. And that'll create this blue map that the AI pieces know that they can only walk on. Okay, let's make sure things are working here. There's my asset, my little rabbit asset I bought or downloaded for free. Oh, how cute. So we want him to randomly go to an object. So I think our first cube is called D1, destination one. So we go to the rabbit, we want to add an FSM to him, and we want to have a timer. Our first state is going to be a wait state. So we'll just keep it one to make sure we know what we're doing. Our finish event, new event, switch to new location. Again, this is just a label. So I'll create new event. And click here to get the tab. Control, click over. Now in this state, we want to tell it what to do. Set agent destination as game object. So we'll click that. Now the rabbit does not have an a, uh, AI mesh agent component. If we click this, smart people at Unity will do that for us. Yo, it's all fine. So we're gonna use the owner, that is the rabbit itself. Do not specify the rabbit because we're gonna make this a packageable thing so we can drag as many rabbits as we want. So the owner, which is the rabbit, is going to head where? So at this moment, we're just going to make sure this all works. So we're going to specify the game object as D1 just to see if it actually works. And yes, he does. That works. So now we can go ahead and um, kill this. Remember, we're actually still inside of the uh, the rabbit. So we're going to go ahead and create a different state, add a new state. It's basically what I had in the other video, but that logic is going to be contained with each rabbit. Okay, so for a randomizer, we're going to do send random event. Um, how many cues do we have? We have 13. Okay, and we're going to do event, new event, D1, event, all the way down, new event, D2. This bores me. Okay, that was painful. Yeah, I'm going to have this go to the randomizer, and D1's going to go to here. Oh, uh, let's go and do a finished. Go back to the randomizer. That's fine. All right, that looks like a lot. So if we go here, just copy him or her, paste it down. So now we're gonna add all the cubes as destinations. So this randomizes, picks a destination, shoots over to here. So we can just go and copy this. We already have one for here. For here, and you can see they're obviously all going to the same place. And make them go to their correct places. That's D1, D2, D3, 
D3. Put our game up here and see if it switches directions every five seconds. Okay, I'm gonna kill these uh, finish transitions because I wanna wait, have them wait and hang out for a little bit, like they're eating for just a second or two instead of just jamming to the new place. All right, so now we're gonna add a wait. Hang out for another, s another second and we'll do a new event. New place. Create an event. And wait a second, wire that back in, and let's copy those down. So now if I just copy a whole bunch of these, I don't know why people do control D, but I just do control C. Uh, let's put 10 here. Well, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And see where the hell they all go. Now they should all independently have their own logic built in. There we go. So they're all scrambling. So now you've got to catch these things. So I'm going to scatter around the city. I'm going to probably make like 20 or whatever. But we want our first placer, first person controller to run into these things and then grab or pick them up. Maybe we'll just have to do object destroy or something. I downloaded a basket. We're going to scoop up all the rabbits in a basket and we're going to go to our first person controller and we're going to attach the hamster cage to it. So if we drag the hamster cage out here and we're going to make it a child of the first person controller. And if we rotate the first person controller around or move it, it should be attached to us. Right now it's kind of out of view. So let's move the hamster cage away so it see it in our scene. And now we want an event trigger for FSM. So our rigid body is, um, we're gonna specify the game object and we're gonna use the hamster cage. And our trigger is on trigger enter, I guess, yeah. Collide tag is player. And send event, test rag caught. This could be anything. I mean, I just, I named it during testing. Actually, and then we need to add a state, add a transition, test rabbit caught. Drag it over, call this one. Got him. Um, and this is where we're gonna tally up our scores. So let's make sure this works. Again, if you didn't see that part, or if I didn't show it, I selected them all and selected the tag of uh, player as a group. Make more fun. So much I don't know. Okay, so here's us. Oh, we don't have to wait. There we go. Yay, okay, so I clicked it. We're gonna store the collider. So new variable, rabbit caught name. We'll create a variable for that. Come over to here and we'll do a, uh, sounds so violent, but we'll just do a destroy equal sign and the rabbit caught name. should should disappear once we get in the cage there okay so i triggered it so now we'll add add score to it okay i think we're almost done we just need to have a score and a prize i think for this is the easter treat is v my son can find all 13 rabbits he gets a steam card so let's just jump over grab a bitmap of steam let's just say i don't know if how much I'm gonna give him yet or not. But let's go ahead and save this image. Go to Photoshop. File, save as JPEG, theme, not done. And we'll go ahead and filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll save this as steam, not done. Save that, look at our assets, 
And just in place, I'm lazy. I'm gonna do create material. Not done. Um, call it Steam, so it's easier. Not done. And then we'll create another material. Steam, we'll go to Steam done. Standard. Actually, we'll go to legacy shaders and diffuse. Diffuse, looking for a bitmap, and this is Steam done, so I'll just drag this over here. And that is that. And then for Steam not done, Legacy Shaders, Diffuse, and I'll drag this guy over here. And those are our materials. Instead of making a UI for this, I'll go back to our first person controller, make another cube. Stash it in front. So now every time your camera moves, it'll be stuck in the view and we'll stash it a little bit higher and we'll make it flat. There's a steam card and we'll apply our not done material to it. And it does, it has to rotate. Hold control to snap it. There's a seam card out of view. Let's go back to our FSM. And let's go ahead and make a UI for this. UI text. It's going to create a canvas for us. So we should be able to make the text bigger. Oh, there it is. Now let's do some quick basic math. And we're all done. So here, let's make a new variable. Make it an int new variable score. We'll add it. The variable right now is values 13. And then go to our gotum area. We'll do an int add. Our variable score. Push this to the top. We're going to add minus 1. UI text set text. Needs a UI component to it. And we're going to move this. I can't see. You can actually just shrink these pieces and drag them up in order. At, right after the in add, before the app rabbit gets destroyed, we'll do a UI text set text. Specify the game object. And then the text variable, we have to use a variable, hit the equal sign. And we are going to use convert score. And it's going to convert it to the score that we just hit. And do it in every frame. That should be fine. Make sure this works. There's our Steam card. Where's that rabbit? Goes down to 12. Good. And make this, this text a little bit bigger. Okay, good. I'm going to go back to our FSM. So we'll do an int compare. Int compare. There it is. We're going to do integer. Oh, if it's equal to, yeah. If it's equal to zero, new event. Uh, one, create event. Add a transition. Set material. We are gonna use the thing we made, the cube, I think it is. Pick our material. If you don't see this pop up, make sure you hit the equal sign until you see the target. Now clip the target and we should go to Steam, done. And just for kicks, to make sure this logic works, we're going to say we're going to move our int compare up right after we do the math. If it is equal to 12, just to make sure it works. 12. Did, oh, there. This, the material changed. Okay, we're done. I think we're done. 
All right, so all I have to do is go back and sadistically change this back to zero. Okay, so UI, do that. UI set text, compare, and then kill the object. So we gotta move the rabbit up. Do, before we do the end compare. Ugh. Very simple elementary school logic, but when you build all this stuff, you forget all these pieces. Okay, so one final test. So turn off the colliders and make it zero again. Ah, oh, shit, he got away. Down to 11, 10 should do it. Hey, we won, okay. That is it. All right, hopefully that wasn't too painful, but that's how you make an Easter game to torture your kid. All right, see you next time, bye.